The World Health Organization Director General says he regrets Donald Trump's decision to suspend funding. On Tuesday, the U.S. President announced that he had taken a decision to hold funding to the WHO, which amounts to U.S. $500 million. He said the WHO promoted China's disinformation about the virus that likely led to a wider outbreak than otherwise would have occurred. Mahalia Joseph Wharton has more. The organization's media briefing on Wednesday, Director General Dr. Tendros Adhanam Ghebreyesus said, This is a time for all countries to be united in their common struggle as he defended the agency's handling of the crisis. He said the United States of America has been a long-standing and generous friend to the WHO, and he hopes it will continue to be so. We regret the decision of the President of the United States to order a hold in funding to the World Health Organization. We support from the people and government of the United States, WHO works to improve the health of many of the world's poorest and most vulnerable people. He said the WHO is reviewing the impact on their work of any withdrawal of U.S. funding and will work with its partners to fill any financial gaps they face to ensure their work continues uninterrupted. Our mission and mandate are to work with all nations equally without regard to size of their populations or economies. COVID-19 does not discriminate between rich nations and poor, large nations and small. It does not discriminate between nationalities, ethnicities, or ideologies. Neither do we. Dr. Gabrielson said in due course that the WHO's performance in tackling this pandemic will be reviewed by WHO's member states and the independent bodies that are in place to ensure transparency and accountability. No doubt, areas for improvement will be identified and there will be lessons for all of us to learn. But for now, our focus, my focus, is on stopping this virus and saving lives. He said this is a time for all of us to be united in our common struggle against a common threat, a dangerous enemy, COVID-19. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.